hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to discuss about multilingual issues and parsing so before getting started with this video i would like to say you something that if you are watching this video for the first time then please do subscribe to our channel and if you are already a subscriber then please do watch whole video and hit the like button so now let's get started so multilingual issues so when this multilingual issues are found is while doing tokenization while doing word segmentation and while doing morphological processes this multilingual issues might occur so let's discuss uh, one of each each of the processes where we will find the multilingual issues the first one is tokenization what is mean by tokenization tokenization is nothing but you are breaking one particular sentence into words subwords or characters so you are just breaking the sentence into words subwords or characters that is nothing but tokenization so what are the multilingual issues we will uh, face during the tokenization is the first one while in english tokens are typically separated by space characters some languages may have different conventions in tokenization while uh, we are doing tokenization so we are going to break the words where we will be find the, finding the spaces okay but sometimes in english only you will be facing this issue if there is a word like todays it will read this word as two words it will read it as two words not as one single word so it reads today as one word and it reads s as one word the same goes with theirs it will treat there as one word and s as one word so this is one of the multilingual issue that are, that you are going to face in tokenization and the second is case sensitivity so the this is also an issue that is uh, found in tokenization so how it is going to be an issue is so if 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 a word is written in upper case i mean the first letter of the word is written as upper case then you are going to consider it as proper noun but if you use lower case then it is considered as common nouns but you can't differentiate between the proper nouns and the common nouns if you just write the whole text in lower case right so this is the second issue that you are going to face in tokenization the third one is see whenever uh, there is a text or a word in any any language that particular text is encoded using ascii values you know ascii right so for particular uh, character you will be having some value so whenever that character is found in the given text you are going to replace it with that standard values but for some languages they are not going to encode it in the ascii values they are going to use another standard codes for it in that case that it is that is a drawback because every time you want to understand that particular test or the system want to understand that particular text it has to convert that particular code into ascii code right so this is one of the drawback that you are going to face in tokenization so the next one is word segmentation so what is mean by word segmentation segmentation is nothing but breaking you are breaking the given sentence into words words which is having some meaning right so how you are going to face it the first issue is chinese text lacks explicit marks or spaces between words making it challenging to determine word boundaries see if you take english when uh, the we will be separating each word by space right space character you are going to separate each word but when it comes to the chinese language you are not going to use any spaces in between each word so it it is difficult for them to find different words or it is difficult for them to find word word boundaries so this is one of the issue that you are going to face in word segmentation and coming to the morphology what is mean by morphology the process of breaking a word into morphemes is nothing but morphology morphemes are the meaningful words 
or subverse okay so the first point is now when we try to understand sentences in some languages we need to pay attention to morphemes because they can change the meaning of the words and sentences see whenever you want to understand understand a particular text you have to understand the morphemes because these morphemes can change the meaning of the words and sentences the second point is the order of morphemes can tell us who is doing what in a sentence um while you are going to um combine some uh, morphemes and those order of morphemes will determine who is going to do what in that particular sentence i mean you are going to understand the context of that particular sentence because of this morphemes so for example for example take unhappy unhappily as an example so how many morphemes are we using to form this particular word you are using the first one is un and the second one is happy and the third one is li so every morpheme in this particular word is having different meaning so if you take un un means not and happy happy means you are feeling good and ly means in a certain way so these all morphemes together combine forming a word and this this word is having a certain meaning right so it helps us to understand the context of that particular sentence but in some languages it is difficult to understand this kind of morphemes so what they are going to do is they are going to do i mean they are going to tag each and every morpheme with pos tags that is nothing but parts of speech tags and they are going to understand this kind of morphemes so these are the morph i mean multilingual issues that are faced in the parsing so in the next video we are going to discuss about other, another topic if you want to receive regular updates about the video uploads then please do join our telegram channel and we have also introduced the telegram chat so if you people are interested to chat uh with each other and want to share any notes you can join that chat thank you